Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. The Uncle Huey Don and Pro Show. <laughs> What's up with you, girl? You on the Uncle Huey Don and Pro Show. How you doing? Well, you know what? I'm good. How the hell y'all doing? Step dog, what's happening? You know what? I just got through eating some Thai food, and I think I got the itis, y'all, but I'm going to hang in there with you. <laughs> you got to go take a shit? Oh, there you oh, go. No, we're not doing all that. We're not oh. doing all that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the Kalani handle that, huh? Cause you gotta go do a number two, then we will sit and wait and stuff. <laughs> now that's now that's now that's that's Donald. That's Donald. That ain't Uncle Huey talking like that. Hey, Uncle Huey would have never said that. I mean, it's real. We are not, not on the first greet. Not on the first. She without knowing anything, ain't no way I'd have said no, that. No, if she a friend of Prozac, she know what time it is. It's some crazy oh, okay. shit going on. I know what time it is. So, the question is, when it comes to a female. All right. Should you have sex on the first date? You know, now. In the car. Oh, wait a minute. You didn't say all that. Come on, man. I don't want to have sex the first time in the car. You know, I, I like incense, right? That was my incense. Oh. But go ahead. But go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm now, sorry. You can answer this any way you want, but that that, that ain't the way the question is. That show the fuck wasn't. <laughs> and no. the car, we would, hey, we'd have turned him down right off. <laughs> well, you know, that depends mm. on mm. how you want a man to look at you after it's all said and done. Now, if you want to be a McDonald's type of female, then you do what you do. But I mean, if you want some Dom Perignon and some filet, I mean, that, that 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 that's not how we get down. Is that right? So is that not in the car or not on the first date? No, not not no, not on the first date. Now, once you get into it, I mean, and you doing what you're supposed to do, I mean, we could we could be spontaneous, but but on the first date, um, to me that comes across as kind of cheap. Mm. Well, well, I have a problem with that <laughs> because uh, I, me and my wife, we did it on the first date, and I've been with her thirty two years. Lucky you, nigga. She yeah, got that I fire. didn't have to say he was pretty lucky. Right. She got that fire and desire, you hear me? And uh, yeah. and I always wanted to ask a young lady on the first day, would y'all have sex for four hours? And then he goes home and you go home. See, I used to leave $40, though, on the side. You know, as soon as I used to. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess for four hours, you have to leave something. You didn't want to go girl out. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Hey, that's slave labor. Yeah. That is slave remind labor me. right there. I, remind me never to date anybody from Kansas City. That part these <laughs> nuts. Oh, God. Mm-mm, Forty dollars. Mm. Some, some I mean, got forty dollars. Nothing but a Jewish tip. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, I was, I, I was talking about my uncle and daddy. <laughs> my uncle and daddy say, "Boy, that appreciate that the love." Mm-hmm. Hey, my my mom, my daddy said, "Appreciate the woman." You know, uh, uh, choose that woman first. I said, okay, Dad, what you want me to do? And Granddad, they were sitting right there. He said, always leave them $40 on the sign so they won't feel so bad. You know, so. Well, being that you was in Kansas City 1962 to 75, that might have been enough. Oh. <laughs> I appreciate that, 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 that. 
That 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 get it out. That's a go to say it, Steph. That go reminds me of when I used to work in a restaurant. I I I used to wait tables at PF Chang's. You know, when I was a little bit younger, and and the mm. Jewish folk would come in there and tip. You know, you got the you got the Middle Easterners coming in and get that kind of tip. You got black folks coming there and tip. Then you mm-hmm. got Caucasians coming there and tip. I hope I'm not leaving nobody out. But the tip was always the worst, and they got the most money. Forty dollars ain't nothing but a tip. And you know that's borderline insulting, but that's why you don't do anything on the first date because okay. all you get. Well, let me ask you. Dollars. Let me ask you this: w- w- in 1970, would be for- would forty dollars be insulting? In 1970, ooh, that's a lot of money. He said, "Ooh, that's a lot of money." My God, listen. Now, I'm gonna say this. Lee, 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 what kind of relationship is this? Is this just an occasional meetup, or what are we doing? It's a first date. It's an occasional meetup. It's whatever. But the question is, is $70 an insult? Well, my daddy told me. No, I'm asking Steph. I'm asking, I'm asking Steph. I'm just saying. Oh, California would have been on, an insult. Steph, Steph um, would you go ahead and just ring it up real quick? I think, so go to the next. I think that when you leave, I think I think that if you leave a woman money for something like that, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't think that's ever enough. I think that's an insult. I think that's an insult depending on what the type of woman is we're talking about. Well, we're talking about it. 1970 and we talking about now shit was different back then but according to the inflation calculator forty dollars in 1970 is equivalent to 292 dollars today and knowing this do you feel like that's an insult now if you put it in kansas city then you gotta do what go further than that you can go further Ooh, than that yeah, yeah you can put it further than that in kansas city now that's where donald from forty dollars might have worked 1970. Yeah, so California. Okay. Is this your woman though? No, that's the first date. <laughs> look, look, did you I've say been Jeff, did you, you know, say he you know, money for a woman? That part. Did your grandfather tell you to do that for every one of them or or just somebody that you are fond of? Um, I mean, hold, what, hold on, Seth. I, I'm not done yet. I'm not done, Seth. Check it out. My grandfather said before. Okay. Forty dollars is the highest of the highs. You know, thirty-five. Okay, you see that? Man, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Are you even in Libya? Then you get about ten to five dollars. Guess what? Hey, it was just a bad night if you don't get nothing. Not a drip. So, Donald, all these yes. relationships—they were just a one-night thing. You left the money and you never saw the person again. Well, some, some I double back. I mean. And then, no, no, some of them, when they call me back, so that's called a double back, right? Oh, they and then call when I get done, when I, yeah, when I get done, I'm expecting her to give me $40. Oh, this <laughs> thing, <man. laughs> oh, 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 my God. This is becoming a comedy. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, man, this is why my grandfather. I'm, I'm sorry, that my, was hilarious. Just like Smith. Just like the young lady laughed, that's what you would have got laughed right out of the play. So would it? No, no, I was very successful. No. Good part. Uh, I yeah. think she would have remembered you just as well if you did a good job and didn't leave nothing. Yeah, that would have worked back in the Hebrew days, but now these chicks trying to get paid, baby. They millennia. Now, if a woman will accept your would accept your forty dollars after you got done, and then date with another woman and said no nah, I, I think i want to wait you can you you know i would like to get to know you a little better would you look at the two women differently at, at 19 years old i probably i probably left her quick as the wind blow well i didn't know we were talking about at 19 years old you still wet behind the ears <laughs> yeah, you still wet behind the ears at that point but if when you when you Grow up a little bit. You you come to find out that it's the difference between a forty dollar hoe and yeah. an actual. Well, I think I. Uh, so, when, when I was, depending on what you want, I guess. Well, when I was with my wife, I left for forty dollars, right? But uh, you know, you know, she was cool, so I doubled back. <laughs> the respect I have for my daddy and my grandfather. I leave mean, forty dollars sometimes right there. Uh, she don't know. Yeah, you know how you might get on a game show or something, and somebody will ask you how you met your wife. 
And you yeah. said she was a one night stand and I left forty dollars down there and uh she called me to come back. And everybody gonna fall out their fucking chairs. Everybody gonna fall out their chairs just like we did with them. Uh, I, I they gonna do what they gonna do is start expecting forty dollars. <laughs> I, I don't know, forty dollars. You could buy some hot dogs and some beans, some hot water cornbread, and some greens. You could buy a lot what of you know about hot water cornbread, Donald. Man, please, man. I I go on to make hot water put cornbread and put the fingers in them too. The 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 print the print ones. Come on, man. I'm country, man. Okay. Look. Can't even buy four Big Macs for me and my kids with that forty dollars. <laughs> you would have loved it. So, when you in the club and you meet a man, how long does it take for your radar to say, do, 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 do. Uh, I'm going to be hitting that as soon as I get to the house? Like, how long does that take you in your mind? Uh, I will probably give it about 30 seconds. Why? Huh. Why you say that? Because, because the, the guy might be married and have to say no. No, I'm not saying that the, his his if it's a single yeah, guy, yeah. they said that women because you know we can go to a club and be like, oh, I'm gonna hit that and then take the girl and then we you know we so sure of ourselves we don't we don't get nothing but but blue balls. But if a, if a female, they see a man like, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna hit that tonight, and they usually get it with, with, when they want it. No. What you say? Well, you did say you, you guys have the radar. You guys have a radar. Yeah, that's that confidence thing you walk with. You know, too. You know when a lady wants you. Yeah, you guys have a radar. Yeah, so when a so when a woman meets a man, for us, it's not so much about we see a physical and we want to hit that. For us, it's more about a connection. So if we meet a guy, we know within the first minute, 30 seconds to a minute, whether there's any type of connection there. So I can tell you for me, going out with somebody, meeting somebody, huh. it's important when you just, when a woman decides that she's going to sleep with a man. Yeah, I'm not talking about the connection. I'm talking about the radar where you say, I'm going to have him butt naked with cream and everything all on my body and he licking his way to the sweet chocolate goodness. You know what Ooh. I mean? Jesus Christ. Well, that sounds like something you see in a top. top yeah, but it's not like. <laughs> right. And it, don't, it, it doesn't normally work like that going from this, from a woman to a man. For y'all, that's how it works. But a woman wants to feel something. But so she we can gonna, feel this chocolate pickle. Right, right. Emotion. Before we decide whether we're going to sleep with it. Hey, family. That's not even emotional. Vibe. Just is there a vibe there? Right. So that goes. Whoa. Back. I'm that, that goes back to what I was. The question you were asking, he said no. Well, I was saying statistically speaking, mm -hmm. because I said thirty seconds. Okay, because on television I was watching a show and they were saying that women know within five seconds. Yeah, but now that she may nah, say, but I don't the same night, but the same night. See, that's what I'm saying. It's an emotional thing. So when she wakes up in the morning and turn to her left and see that forty dollars, what she is it say, with oh, you and this fucking forty dollars shit? That's emotional too. Damn. That's, that's hey, so look at that's all the money you got. In this shit. You hear what well, I'm saying? I don't have to say you sticking to your point, but I don't know how far you're gonna go with it this time. Well, what do you think? <laughs> about the forty dollar method. I don't leave no. You see I, how she's laughing at you. You can see what she thinks. Well, she oh, it's okay. It depends. It depends. It depends yeah. on why you're leaving the forty dollars. Why are you leaving the forty dollars? You could be leaving the forty dollars for one reason. Thank you. That's all. Or go get yourself a cab, or or get you something to eat, or get the kids some shoes. Like, what what are you leaving the forty dollars for? Because gas is high in the motherfucker right now. That ain't going to get up across the street. <laughs> no, man. Come on. We're talking way back here. That, for, that $40 won't fill up. Shit. 
That $40 won't fill up my feet. That $40 won't fill up my baby mama's breast implants. $40. High as gas is. Get out of here with that. But it can give you two it can give you two weeks of cornmeal and, and beans. Oh man. But look at here, Donald. Well well we've all well we've all forgot here. You talking about something in the seventies. See, we up here in twenty twenty two. I'm a throwback, huh? <laughs> You can't even go in and get one bag of groceries for $40. No sure more. can't. Even if you're buying all beans. 